Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and I am here with second video of Apex test class series. So without any further delay, let's get started. Today we are going to write test class for this task manager controller class. This is a basic controller class which contains operations like insert, update and delete. And in today's test class, we will see how we can write test class to cover these operations. But before that, let's first go through the controller class to get an idea of its functionality. I mean what it is exactly doing. Because without clear understanding of the class, it is very difficult to create test cases. So let's break down the code. Here we have three methods in this class. First method is to create a task record. We have two parameters in this method. This one is for title and this one is for description. Second method is to update the task record. And we have some additional parameters here like task ID. Obviously to update any record in Salesforce, we need ID. Title and description are same parameters. And the last parameter is of boolean type for the field completed on task object. And this field indicates that whether a task has been completed or not. And the last method is to delete the task record. And we have only one parameter in this method, which is for task ID. Now we will start our test class. So let's create our new Apex class. Let's name it task manager test. And to make this class a test class, we just need to put at the rate is test annotation here like this. Now first we will create a test method for this create task method. So we will name our method accordingly like this is test public static void. So let's say test create task. Now the first thing that we need to do is to create test data needed for this create task method. So in our method, we will check that which objects data we need to create in our test class. So as you can see that this method is creating a task record by itself and we just need to provide title and description for it. So in our test method, what we will do, we will create two variables, one for title like this, test data, let's say title, test title and another for description. description test description we will call our class method here copy class name paste it here dot method name and let's pass these variables in it title and description also, it is very important to use test.startTest and test.stopTest methods to avoid governor limits. Like this. Test.startTest. Test.stopTest. Basically, the code inside these two methods have a new set of governor limits. Because here, Salesforce temporarily resets the limits for that specific block of course during unit testing. So here we call our controller class method which will create a task. But now we also need to verify that whether the task is actually created or not. So for that we are going to use system.assert equals. Let's see how. Verify that a task was created. First let's search the task record with the same title as the one which we have used here like this. List task Task list, select ID, title, description, on task, where title is close to this title. Now we will use system.asset equals to check that whether a task with the provided title has been created or not. Like this. System.asset equals with this list name, paste it here, dot size, task should have been created. So this first parameter is the expected size of the list. I mean if our code is correct then a task record should have been created and the size of this list must be 1. That's why in first parameter which is expected parameter we have passed 1. And in second parameter which is the actual parameter 
we have passed size of this list. So basically here, we are verifying the result by comparing expected and actual result. And this is the message which will be displayed if these two results do not match. So we have a test method ready. Save it. And now let's run it to check that whether it is covering this create task method or not. Click on run test. So this method has been passed and also it is covering this create task method. Now similarly create another method for this update task method. But before that let's check the method again. So in this method we are passing these parameters. We are passing task id, title, description and this boolean parameter completed. And this method is updating task record using these values. Therefore in our test class first we will create a task record. Then we will call this method. And we will pass that task record id as parameter in this method to update it. Let's see step by step. Let's create a method. Is test public static void test copy this method name paste it here let's create a task record task let's see task obj Title will be let's say old title description let's say old description now insert it task obj now in a test class we have a record on which we can apply that update method from controller class to test it but we also need new field values for this record so let's create variables for each field string let's say new title let's say new description boolean new completed let's say true test dot start test test and inside these methods let's call our controller class method so copy this class name paste it here dot this name and pass this task record id and other values in it copy this paste it here dot id this is for title, this is for description, and this is for completed field. Now it's time to verify the result using system.assert equals. So let's restore all required data of this task record in a variable like this task updated task select id title command description comma completed from task where id is equal to this record id and now we will verify all the field values that we have updated here first for title system dot assert equals copy this variable name paste it here this is the value of title that we are expecting and in second parameter put the actual title of task that we have updated so copy this variable name paste it here dot title and at last put a message to be displayed if expected and actual value of title do not match like this title should be updated similarly use system.asset equals for description and completed field copy this line paste it here this is for description and the description should be updated copy this line again 
paste it here completed completed should be updated save it and now let's send the test class again and see what's the result click on run test so our test class has passed and these two methods are also being covered now there is only delete method left so in this method we are just passing task id and this method is deleting the task record in this method again we need to create a task record in our test class then we will call our controller class method and we will pass task record id as parameter in method so let's create a method for delete operation also test public static void test copy this method name paste it here let's create a task record task let's say task record okay we already have it in our update method so copy this line paste it here call the method to be tested test dot start test test dot stop test copy our class name paste it here copy this method name dot delete task and pass this record id in it dot id and now we will verify the result for that let's store task record in a list like this verify that the task was deleted list of tasks deleted task list let id from task where id equals to this record id and now let's use system dot asset equals like this system dot asset equals now see if the delete method work then the size of this list must be zero because the task of this id has been deleted here therefore in expected parameter we will pass zero and in actual parameter we will put the size of this list so copy this list name paste it here dot size we will put the message task should be deleted save it click on run test so our test class has passed and we also have the 100% code coverage now guys see the very basic way to test the functionality of any code is by manually creating data in OR and then following the corresponding steps of the class. This manual testing on Salesforce record is straightforward, but it is not a recommended method for testing a code. On the other hand, in test class, we replicate the same steps as manual testing, but by using code. So that's it for today guys. I hope you liked the video. Keep supporting and keep watching. Thank you.